Hello everyone, um, today I'm filming a quick video, which I don't think is going to be quick, <laughs> if that makes any sense, um, about what it's like having a chronic or long term condition on Christmas Day. So there's a lot of routine to having a chronic or long term condition um, that still needs to happen on Christmas Day and you need to find the energy to do all the normal Christmas stuff as well. So this is what my Christmas Day is going to look like. So you'll be watching this on Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas. Um, but I have filmed this the day before, so I'm all dressed up because my grandparents are coming round and we're having our Christmas with them um, today on Christmas Eve. Um, I am wearing a Lindy Bop dress, I love that company, um, which is, it's got books and mixers all over it and I love it. Um, Right, so let's get down to it. So yesterday I chatted to the wonderful Georgina Reeds. Um, we have been friends since we started booktube. We both started in the same week and have problems such as POTS in common. Um, she's very quickly become one of my closest friends um, and it was so nice to chat to her yesterday because usually one of us is a bit down or one of us doesn't have quite enough energy but yesterday we both like had that sort of really cheerful um, time and I posted a picture on Twitter, I'll put it here. We are such good friends um, I don't know what I'd do without her. She um, got me the most gorgeous Christmas present so she got me a necklace that said be brave on it and she also got me um, a mirror with my name on that was really small so it would be really handy to put in my feed pump bag. Um, I got her and admittedly myself this <laughs> hot dudes reading calendar because you know why not? So tomorrow morning we'll start the same as every single morning that's come before it um, and for my mum as well. So my mum will actually be getting up earlier than usual so that she can be in on time for me. Um, she will help me set up my syringe driver, she'll set my meds going and I'll have to put in a new needle tomorrow morning um, for my syringe driver and then I'll disconnect from my subcutaneous fluids which I've talked about in a previous video so if you look back you'll probably be able to find um, if you don't know what they are a video or two about subcutaneous and what that is. Now this year we've decided to do something a bit different um, I'm on a drug at the minute which knocks me out so family are coming into my bedroom uh, in the morning to do stockings I am so excited about that because I was really worried about getting out of bed and like being a zombie the whole day um, but they're coming into me which t really takes the pressure off um, we don't usually have stockings as a family, it's usually just uh, me and Edward, my brother, but this year we've decided to do them for the whole family, because uh, we're doing Christmas really differently this year. Um, and I just think that's going to be so nice, just a really family moment. Um, when we were little we used to go into mum and dad's bedroom and sit in their bed, but my brother has, he's as tall as my dad now, so I don't think that would work this year. So it works in uh, to come into me. After the stockings, uh, mum will help me get wa up, washed and dressed. Um, this will take quite a while because I'm very, very dizzy in the morning. Um, I struggle to like stay awake, so wish us luck there. Then I'll go down in my stair lift um, into the living room. And this year, whereas normally we would um, go down and open everything, we are choosing one present that we would like to open. Um, hopefully by the time you're watching this, if Father Christmas has been very kind to me, um, I might have a die cutting machine. So that's um, a machine which you put in like a metal outline. I'm seeing if I've got one on here. I have a metal outline and it will chop that outline out for you in fabric or paper or anything which is amazing because as a lot of you know I'm very very crafty but I've been having these significant problems with my hands so I'm so excited to hopefully be able to get back to uh, full steam ahead on the crafting front. While my family are eating their breakfast I will be lighting this candle, um, Savour the Season by Yankee Candle. Um, I got this in TK Maxx uh, for £10 and I know that's very steep but it will last us a long time. I might put it away from next year to next year and it does just smell like Christmas pudding. It's so amazing and Yankee actually smells so I felt like why spend £6 on a candle that you're not sure if it's going to smell. You might as well spend you know 
10 on a Yankee um, that you know is. It's a flavour that doesn't um, isn't sold anymore, but most of the Christmas ones are really nice. The only one I'm not too keen on is the cinnamon one. And then also while they're eating, I will be looking through this book, um, Kirstie Olsop, Kirstie's Christmas Crafts. Um, I have been watching Kirsty for years, she's like my favourite presenter, um, her programmes are always so like heartwarming and fun and I always want to do all the crafts that she's done on there, I get really jealous that that's her job, um, to go around and try out crafts. Um, so I'm going to be flicking through this and seeing if there's anything that I'd like to be doing in the new year. Um, I know it says Christmas, but there, it, A, it's Christmas Day, and B, um, you can adapt things, so um, we'll see. Then I think for probably 45 minutes-ish, I'll probably be messing around with my new die cutting machine. Yeah, I don't think I'll be leaving much time to get ready, to be honest, because I am so excited about this thing. Uh, I really think it's going to change things for me. Next, I'll be doing my makeup. So, I do a lot of shortcuts with makeup anyway. Um, this I use this as my primer and my setting spray. Insta Fix and Go by Rimmel London as my primer. Then I use a Gosh I eye stick eyeliner so I have been using the silver rose and charcoal grey ones which I have blended together here um, and I just love that and it's really waterproof you can rub your eyes and nothing comes off on your finger um, I've then used the Scandalize Rimmel Mascara I've not gone too crazy on that because I want to be able to get it off really easily at night I've used a Kiko powder blusher uh, and my lipstick is very fancy. It's um, Glitter Lips, which is a company that was on Dragon's Den, I think, last year. And I'm addicted to glitter, so I was like, I need to get this product. Um, you apply it and it's like a clear... Um, it's like a clear glue, but it's a lip gloss. You put it on and you have to keep your lips separated until it goes from white to clear. Then you just use a tiny brush, like one you'd use on your eyes, and dab this glitter on. Um, then you have to um, use a tiny, tiny damp um, cloth um, or a bit of tissue to wipe off the excess and then it's like a smooth finish on your lips. Um, and apparently, obviously I've not tested this, it can stand the test of time over a night out. So if you are looking for something like that, I would really recommend it. Um, it's really comfy on your lips, you wouldn't know it was like glitter, it doesn't feel rough. No, it's very strange, it's like carpet on your lips, if that makes sense. <laughs> then I'll be doing my afternoon meds, with um, connecting to my other syringe driver. Um, obviously I'll be carrying this syringe driver with me all day and my feed pump, but I connect and disconnect from my other syringe driver, because that's for meds that go down my tube. Then I will top up my water that's in my feed pump, or, well, my mum will, <laughs> let's face it. <laughs> I always end up spilling it. This year, for the first year, we're going out for Christmas lunch. Um, I never thought we'd say we'd do that, but because I'm not eating, um, a formal dinner at home means that I don't see my mum and my dad all day because they're cooking, um, and it makes me feel really other. So this year, um, and also because my mum has had um, illness herself over the last couple of years, we've decided to take the stress right down and go out. Um, I will be, thank you, so much to everyone who has sent something to my P.O. box and very naughtily sent me some presents I've spied which is just, it's wonderful but you don't feel like you have to buy me things guys um, honestly, um, you are going to make my day tomorrow though because I've got a little parcel full of all your cards and presents to open um, I've got like six or seven so I'm so excited um, <clears throat> On that note, if any of you have written me a Christmas card and I've not got back to you, I am so sorry. Um, with all these things with my drugs and, you know, just generally not being able to write very well, um, December's been pretty hard, so you will be getting a Christmas card, it'll just be slightly late and there will be a little gift in it. Then we're going to come home and open the rest of our presents. And then it's really, really back to reality. Uh, my mum and I will have to do my bowel care like we do every single other day of the year. Then I'll come back downstairs, so I'll come back up my um, stair lift to do the bout care, then I'll come back down um, and watch some telly with my family. I'll get changed into my PJs, 
uh, go to bed. <laughs> uh, phone family and friends to say thank you so much and to wish them a very Merry Christmas. Um, then my mum will connect me to my night feed, um, will connect me to my subcutaneous fluids and will relocate um, my syringe driver from this bag to a, um, so I've got like a bedside pocket that I've made, uh, it's really handy. Then because I'm a Kirsty, I'll stop fanatic um, I'm going to be watching some Kirsty's Handmade Christmas that evening um, and I'm going to be recording a lot of what's on uh, I still haven't been through Planet yet and recorded things I need to do that but anyway yes um, <laughs> then I will start one and a half hours worth uh, to two hours worth of meds in the evening which goes through my tube into my bowel and then I will attempt to sleep We'll see if that happens or not. Um, recently I've been having some insomniac bouts which haven't been the most fun. So to all of you with a chronic illness or not, I hope you had the best day and um, I hope you've had so much family time and you've just chilled out um, because that's certainly what I'll be doing. I'm really excited about it. Um, I hope you're all feeling okay today and try not to let treatments get you down because um, think of all the other lovely stuff you're going to be doing today. Try and make it special. And my mother started hoovering, so that's the end. <laughs> um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I'll be back maybe before New Year. I'll see you soon. Bye.